on how we handle our money tonight for you. Uh, most South Africans are broke by mid-month. That's according to a new survey commissioned by Time Bank. It was conducted by Worldwide Works. Well, the survey says many of the South Africans who do have a budget, those surveyed, 76% of those still run out of money before the end of the month. Well, Cheslin Jacobs is the head of service and sales with Time Bank. He joins me now. Um, Cheslin, thanks indeed for coming in. So, so you look at a figure like the 76% of those surveyed broke, and you wonder, is it the cost of living that's so high, or do we have a, a, a middle-class problem when it comes to responsibility and money? Which is it? Yeah, so Devin, it's an, in, it's an interesting question because I think it's a combination of, of, of a few things. Um, and... and so definitely cost of living. We all know that's on the increase, electricity, petrol, things like that. But I also think that, that we sometimes make the wrong lifestyle, lifestyle decisions. Um, and I think that's the important thing. It's, it's, it's important for us as individuals to look ourselves in the mirror and say, are we making the right decisions? Are we managing our money correctly? Are we doing the right things with the money we have at the right times? And, and I think with that bit of introspection, I think it'll be, it'll, be easy to see that there's lots of opportunity for us to do things very differently. Yeah, because when you look at another part of your survey, I mean, you do say that we get some of the priorities right to some mm -hmm. degree. When you look at how much of those chunks of your salary goes towards um, uh, paying for, for those priorities, and in the moment we'll, we'll take a look at the next graphic, which will show us that. So, you know, I mean, it goes to housing, yep. it, it goes to school fees, it goes to groceries, the next graphic will show us that. So in that sense, have we not, the South Africans not got a, a bit of responsibility correct there? Hundred percent. So, so I don't think we are irresponsible. So, yeah. so I, I definitely think we've got a priority test rate. So as you mentioned, housing, groceries, school fees, transport. Nobody would argue those are the wrong things to spend your money on. The question is what you do with the remainder. And and like like the survey shows that about forty three percent of South Africans manage to save money at the moment. I think that's an extremely encouraging statistic. The question is how do we increase that number? And, and I'm of the view, time banks of the view, that, that if South African consumers treat saving as an expense, for example, so as money comes in, commit, be disciplined to that savings journey, make sure you put some of that money away as soon as that money comes in, that number and that picture will be very, very different in a couple of years' time. The opportunity is definitely there for us to do things differently. Different. Because it would avoid a scenario, and this is highlighted in the survey as well, where South Africans are actually borrowing from families after the 15th of the month. And I see 20% of those surveyed are also using credit cards for sort of everyday um, expenses. And that's worrying, isn't it? 100%. And like I said, the lifestyle decisions, if you look at so once, once consumers have borrowed money from friends, family, making use of credit cards, further in the survey it shows what they actually use that borrowed money for. Yeah. And still a large proportion of that is used for takeouts, for, for clothing, for socializing. And, and that's where we believe we should, we should strongly be making very, very different decisions. So, so as, as Time Bank, we believe, though, that, that as a financial institution, we probably have an obligation to South African consumers to provide tools that, that, that encourage the right behavior, but more importantly, to make information available to consumers to allow them to make informed decisions. Uh, just one quick thing that stuck out. I mean, it does show the survey that we're very keen, we love entertaining, don't we? Um, I mean, all South Africans love to be entertained, and, and they love entertaining. Yep. One of the key things the survey is showing us is that South Africans are actually realizing look, we've got to cut down on the entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, it, was that quite apparent? That, that was very apparent, but I'd, obviously as, times get, as time gets tougher, that, that you have to start making these hard decisions maybe more frequently, and, mm -hmm. and I think those are arguably the easiest points to, those are the easiest points to, uh, to cut. The question is, so once those hard times uh, subside, do you go back to the, to, the, to the behavior you used to do, or do you change that behavior and then make proper use of the money you're now actually saving? And, and we believe that putting that money in a way into an interest-bearing uh, product, maybe one like, like Goal Save offered by a time bank, yep. that will definitely set people up better for the future. All right, so cutting down on the dancing parties <laughs> will we'll do. Well, thanks very much indeed, Absolute uh, pleasure.